It's Wednesday, September the 2nd, and you're tuned in to the Chenemy Podcast. I'm Vince. I'm Anthony. And this is the Geek Chic Culture Show, where we talk about all the cool things in the whole wide world. Baby, it's back to school season. Oh. Baby, back to school. Oh, I know. I know. Specifically me. Long weekend is coming up, and then back to Just the grind. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, disgusting. Break out them books. Oh, man. Five star, built strong the last <laughs> Everything's digital now, man. It's all PDFs. Is it? Bust out that Adobe PDF reader. Control F your textbooks. Speaking of tech. <laughs> yes. Have you ever heard the term BYOT? Does it bring your own tech? Yeah, I didn't know that. Is that a thing? I didn't know that. What? Like, why? That's such a general acronym. Like, and I don't even know what it's for. Like, I don't. Like, what kind of tech? Like, I'm assuming it means, like, into the lecture, bring a computer. I have no idea. Is that a thing? One of my, like, directors, like, signed off her email to me with that, or with tech group. It was like, and I was like. I think this is a situation of, of stop trying to make fetch happen, because it's not going to happen. Well, because I have heard that acronym before, but not, and I was like. Hey. Have you heard it from anybody under the age of 30? Yes, but not in this context. Oh, okay. Like, not bring your own tech. I've heard it as in bring your own Trojan. Oh, okay. Like, I've actually heard girls okay. say that. And I was like, okay. All right. But I was like, I'm pretty sure she's not talking about that unless <laughs> for what for a zoom call for what? your office orgy apparently <laughs> no thank you yeah no gross. you sure i'm sure it could be fun Mm-mm. why not nah. just try it out there's just you no never one. know until you try there's just no one there I'm, i just gotta go to me. go to your girlfriend and just be like let's hun i gotta i got a work event all mm. right i can't mm. i can't skip out on it i have to go mm. no no I, it's, it's, it's possible i could get a raise mm. <laughs> No. Or you can give someone else a raise, if you know what I'm saying. No, no. <laughs> I like my team, but I'm glad I'm not attracted to any of one of them. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's where we are. Back to school season is here. You know, winter's, or I mean, sorry, winter's coming. It's on the yeah, horizon. Winter is coming. Uh, summer's on its last legs. Yeah. Dude, and it's kind of crazy. Like, everyone kind of, even now, everyone adjusting to online only classes. Yeah. It's people don't know what to do they're like how like i get a lot of reply all emails uh-huh. like we were mentioning before of yeah. just like what do i do this how do i do that what does this mean blah blah blah. it's like they're just so nervous and it's like dude just sit at your computer and read a lecture that's it it's all you got to do yeah man well you know it's a lot of these kids are like you know excited still to, to finally get that college university life i guess so and now it's this to be fair it is like because this semester, because of like how my credits worked, yeah, I am taking, or this year, I'm taking year one, year two, and year three classes well, at the same you, time. Well, there you go. And the majority of the emails are from the year one kids. Yeah, I mean, like I kind of feel sorry for them. Like they like built up all this fun time, time. and they're like they've heard the stories, stories yeah. of, of university, especially first year, and yeah. then it's like, oh man, oh well, that sucks. Yeah. Oh well, you guys will get wasted and smashed, and and wake up in other people's places another day. Do you have a fly in your coffee? Oh shit! I do now. Oh wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. What is that? Are you drinking? You, is that extra protein? No, it's not. Okay, it's. I think it's just like dirt or something. Gross. Yeah, it's disgusting. From the, stairs, from the windows. Gross. Disgusting. Well, that's that. Anyways, uh, that's a small tangent aside. <laughs> I just saw it. I was so distracted. Yeah. Small tangent aside. Uh, yeah, school's in. Get ready. Get sucked. And uh, get sucked. Sorry. get sucked <laughs> thinking about that orgy aren't you mm. um, i've just had so much on the mind lately yeah sometimes. i bet you have i bet <laughs> sometimes you these things just blend together get so interesting interesting very freudian <laughs> get sucked very freudian i think i'm gonna go say that now <laughs> my favorite is kick rocks <laughs> i like kick that rocks. kick rocks <laughs> all right kids just go kick rocks and get sucked that's my favorite kick rocks <laughs> I don't think the last one works. What are you talking about? I don't think the last what one works. What are you works. talking about? Uh, I think it's perfect. Speaking of getting sucked. <laughs> this better have something <laughs> to do with getting sucked. <laughs> Crosspix writes in because he uh, wanted to follow up on his PlayStation 4 dilemma. Do it. Hello, TNIAB crew. So I listened to you guys' recommendation getting the ps4 off my friend and 
have been having a lot of fun with it, Hell as yeah. well as realizing I never actually seen a PS4 console in person until now, because I wanted not to get spoiled? What? Huh? Huh? How do you get spoiled on hardware? Is that a thing? Yeah. Feels extreme now that I think about it. Uh, I now own Persona 5 The Royal, Horizon Zero Dawn, mm-hmm. and the Final Fantasy VII Remake. I want to ask if you got any game suggestions I should get. You can include games from Japan also. Have a great evening. R.A.P. Chadwick Boseman, Wakanda Forever, Brian. Hmm. Hmm. He wants them game recommendations. I still would recommend The Last of Us 2. I would recommend The Last of Us. Oh, the re- the remaster or whatever? Yeah, that one works too. Uh, I want to pull up my my collection. Wow, okay. So I'm trying to think. Like, recently it's just been, yo, you want content? Monster Hunter. <laughs> I would say get God of War. Was, oh, yeah, God of War is good. Uh, oh, that whole year was good. Yeah, it was pretty good. That was a good year. It was, uh, it was good times at, right. at Ridgemont High. I, I pulled up the Excel sheet. Go get yourself some Overwatch. No, whatever. You need to get that. I don't know what I can recommend because all my games are digital and I can't remember them. Yeah, all the Wolfenstein games are really good. If you like, like arcadey first-person shooters. Yep. Both of those. Um, Metal Gear Solid Five. If he's played any Metal Gears before, he's look. He's currently looking through his like drawer of games. Go get a. Get Titanfall Two. Titanfall Two. That was the best multiplayer shooter that year. It was the best you, game you of that year. You should get Near Automata. Near Automata also fantastic. I might even say Kingdom Hearts: The Complete Collection. Gal Gun Double Piece. Okay, let's <laughs> let's uh, <laughs> let's not with that one. You can get the whole yakuza franchise on the ps4 I, oh yeah you could or you could just wait for like a dragon you could also get that one you can get again the whole yakuza franchise uh i think i don't know final fantasy 15 was kind of a fun romp sure i don't I, i'd take it back i don't recommend that um what else indie stuff i like firewatch a lot that was a fun game that was a really good game um I recommend Neo all the time. Just Dark Souls Diablo loot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's just I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of them. Shovel Knight. I just can't remember if he said he had a PC already. So if he yeah. wanted like uh, I don't exclusives. Know. Yeah, if we're just like doubling up. Yeah. If you want the whole Yakuza franchise, or you just want to start with its own thing, and that's yes. too much, you can get Judgment. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Judgment's there. Uh, that Catherine remake came out. Catherine's good. Don't buy Death Stranding. Boring. But you bought it. Yeah, I know. I know you bought the limited baby I bought, edition. Because I wanted the baby. You know what? Pick up Metal Gear Solid oh, V. Sekiro. Sekiro. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That was from the Bloodborne people? Yeah, exactly. Pick up Bloodborne. Bloodborne? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Bloodborne. Bloodborne was like in the early years. Yeah, that was like... I don't, say, I don't think it was a launch, but it was... Close. That was like year one. Yeah. Must have been. Damn. That was a good game. With the axe. The Devil May axe. Cry 5, baby. Oh, yeah. That game is awesome. I heard that game's pretty cool. Both of the Doom games. That game's awesome. I don't know. There's just a lot of games, dude. Just look them up. I think what you should buy is a Switch. <laughs> I know you just got the PS4, but hold up. Let me tell you about the Switch. <laughs> yeah, that's where, you, that's where you should be spending your money. Man, I surprisingly don't have a lot of games. PlayStation 4? Quattro. Wow. Oh, I guess actually I do. I think in comparison to other systems, I have a lot. Okay. Never mind. Okay. I take that back. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, what? How could you not? Uh, go buy yourself Destiny. Two? One one <laughs> the original the og i don't know there's a lot of great games out there but like i think we had a we, if you like the things that we like to play then i think we made a good selection i mean to be honest it's just by monster hunter but also that really only works if you have a group to play with 
Because, like, you've got fun on your own. Yeah, it's not, it's kind of not the same. But, like, it's not, yeah, you definitely... When you're hunting with the boys? Yeah. Oh, the Gravity Rush games. Oh, yeah. Those are really overlooked. But Gravity Rush Remastered and Gravity Rush 2 are both on I still console. gotta play 2. I remember I beat 1 and liked it. Or Remastered and liked yeah, it. Yeah, I beat Remastered as well. Fury? I don't uh, know. You, the you Boss Rush game? Yeah, the Boss Rush game. I know you didn't play that, but it has a fucking baller soundtrack. It's just hard Bro, as fuck. Just get Fall Guys in Rocket League and you call it a day. It's free. Deception 4, The Nightmare Princess. Oh, here, get a Call of Duty. Done. One of them? Infinite? Any one of them. Advanced? The one that lets you do the Battle Royale right now, because that's the hot shit. Batman Arkham Knight? Was that on the PS4? It was. It was on, I think, of one of the earlier, because it was Cross. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Celeste. Celeste is available everywhere. Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball 3? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't get that. Final Fantasy 12, The Zodiac Age, the best Final Fantasy? I mean, that's a good game. But I think he wants PS4. Four. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know, Brian. Hopefully that's enough. I mean... Oh, any of the Hitman games. I only hear great things about the Hitman games, too. I feel like you should have gave us... I mean, what did he say he had? He had Persona. You read the... I don't know. He had Horizon. And he had The Last of Us. Yeah. Okay. So I guess that he likes the action. Action. Devil May Cry 5. Hell yeah. Or the Doom games. Okay. Both of those. Good options. So you're here first. Get Kingdom Hearts. Cool. No. No. Done. Metal Gear Solid V, Ground Zeroes, and Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. You don't need Ground Zeroes. Why not? Who cares? You need to know the lead up. Watch a cutscene. You need it. You need to see him like put his hand over the helicopter paint and then it changes to like Fox Die. And you're like, oh shit. Or Foxhound. And you're like, oh motherfucker. Nah, man. No one cares. It's over. You guys suck. It's over. You gotta be riding and hunt zombies. It's over. You suck. That, that, that was a game that went out with a whimper. Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. Oh my god. Not the <laughs> anime games. Not the anime games. <laughs> Marvel Spider-Man. Oh, that's a great one. That's a great one. Okay, yeah. You know what? Just get Spider-Man. That's the one. That's the, it. The Life is Strange franchise. No, just the Spider-Man. Just get some pictures of the Spider-Man. <laughs> Just take pictures of this. Yeah. You know, you know what WAP stands Transformers for? Transformers Devastation. No, no, no. You know what WAP stands for? What does it stand for? Where are or pictures of Spider Man? Spider -Man. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's so stupid. But I agree. Where are the pictures? <laughs> exactly. Where are they? Where are they? I need them now. That's what Cardi B said. I need them on my about. desk yesterday. <laughs> okay, cool. Uncharted 4. Oh, right. That's a game. That's a good game. Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection. Oh, yeah. Those are good ones. Those are good video games. Okay. All right, we said them all. I think we, I think we got them all. We're done. You forgot the most important one. What? Star, Ocean, Integrity, oh and Faithlessness. Oh, my God. Duh. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Get out of here with that crap. No, thank you. Not for me. No, not, thank you. Not today. Okay, cool. Wicked. Let's talk about some picks that happened in this week. Go. I'm trying to remember the picks that happened. Fine, I'll go. Go. Bro. Yo. Sony released. Hi, Sony. Their corporate report. <gasps> Why? Because it's that time. It's that time of year. Their official corporate report. And uh, Wario64, the robot of the Twitter sphere, yes. perused through it, and he found a very interesting quote. What did he find? Uh, Sony says, quote, we will explore expanding our first party titles to the PC platform what? in order to promote further growth mm. in our profitability. Mm. Ooh. Interesting, Sony. I don't know how I feel. Interesting. Does this mean Microsoft's getting those Sony exclusives? Uh, it technically could be. They're already getting Horizon. Oh my god. So, oh my it, god. It could be happening. I'm not too sure. But uh I thought that was kind of wild news because like one console future. One console future. <laughs> Cuz I think what was it? Like oh, like a couple days ago, Sony came out and said that they believe in generations in terms of console generations. 
and like that keeps uh like video games moving at a certain pace right mm-hmm. but it's like yeah but you also believe in that cash dollar <laughs> like that money mm-hmm. like i know sony's in trouble i know the game market is the only thing really keeping yeah. them afloat right yeah, yeah so it's kind of hypocritical on a certain level but bro ignite the console wars pc master race is having a field day damn damn Welcome to the one console future, my dude. Damn, homie. Uh, continuing on the video game front. Yes. You know Dante from the Devil May Cry series? Yes. They put they put him in League of Legends. I mean, when you said this originally, yeah. I was expecting... In Dante from the Devil May Cry franchise. Yes. <laughs> no, so uh, they have this new character. Her name is Samira. Yes. And... I think she's Noxian is like they're kind of like the the bad dudes of the League of War. Oh. And she's an 80 carry. But her whole gimmick is that she has graded ranks. She starts at E rank and she goes all the way up to S rank. Oh, that's her mechanic? Yeah. Oh. Her mechanic is ranks, baby. Um she has like a whole bunch of skills like if even though she's a range that you carry, if you go up close to an opponent and attack them, she'll attack with a sword, which does bonus damage. Yeah. And her ultimate, which is like this kind of tornado flurry of gunshots, can only be used if she is at S rank. Oh my god. Yeah. And the more non-repetitive skills she uses, other than um, auto attacks, yeah. gets her more grades. Uh... And then the more grades she gets, the stronger she is. I see. The other fucked part of her kit is that she can juggle enemies. When you say juggle, like you can hold them in the air and they can't do anything? So in League of Legends, there's hard CC, right? So if I say I am playing a character that actually in the ability trailer, they, they use this example. I'm playing a character called Swain. Mm. He can throw out like a claw and grab someone and then pull them. Yeah. And while they're hard CC'd, they can't do anything, yeah. right? But if I auto attack a hard cc'd opponent yeah i can juggle them to extend the cc oh uh, obviously up to a diminishing yeah, returns yeah, yeah, yeah. but still <laughs> i see okay it's uh kind of dumb it's kind of and i believe close. all of her attacks do juggle oh. so if like someone hard cc's and then you alt in the middle of the hard cc yeah. they all get juggled oh <laughs> i see it's uh, kind of crazy. And I don't know how this isn't, like, grounds for a lawsuit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she really was daunted. And I'm pretty sure I have seen that at her ultimate attack somewhere. Yeah, no, it's basically in the air in, like, I think from Devil May Cry 3 and up. Dante has this one move where, like, if he has the guns in the air, he, like, spins down yeah. while he's shooting down. Like, that kind of thing. Yeah. Like, he's definitely done all this shit before. Yeah. And even at the beginning, she does a thing and she shoots the bullets across the screen to split it in half for the oh, transition. Yeah, yeah. Like, even the S font is the same. Like, I don't know how this isn't just piracy. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> it's a girl. Because it's a lady. <laughs> and Dante doesn't know anything about ladies. What are you talking about? He knows a girl named Lady. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> You don't remember? Yeah, forgot. Lady. So yeah, that's uh that's your daily dose of piracy from fucking there. But uh also Monster Hunter, our Monster favorite Monster Hunter I would say our favorite group game. Yep. Uh is getting its final free title update. Yeah, this is sad. We got Frostfang Barry off, it looked real cool. Mm. And now we are getting the world ender. The yes. Fatalis. It's about time. Uh, for those of you who don't know, in Monster Hunter lore, f- like there are always hints of an an ancient civilization of people, of humans, yes. that used to live, right, somewhere. Like a thousand years ago. Like a thousand years ago. And then something happened, and everyone's like, what happened? Yeah. Fatalis is what happened. Yes. <laughs> like, Fatalis came <laughs> in, and he's like, you guys are being bitches, and then killed everybody. <laughs> yes. And, uh, yeah. That's Fatalis. Yeah, Fatalis is, he's the most traditional looking dragon, I would say. From like medieval culture. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes. He, he, when you think of like a Western dragon, he is yeah. a dragon ass dragon. 
Yeah, he's he's who is the dragon in is it the Hobbit? Smog? Yeah. Smaug? Yeah, Smaug. He's got all his treasure. It's kinda like that. Kinda, yeah. Um but actually you know what he is? It's the red eyes black dragon. Oh shit. <laughs> Um, but they're going to have this event in, like, a special air arena. They have some dude from some other city coming over to, like... Is it a special arena, or is it the same arena we've always fought the Talos in? I think it's a little different, but it's the same concepts. I think it's the same arena. It just looks is better it? on the PS4. I thought it was a different one. Castle... Shikigami 2 Freed? for the PS2. Wait. Castle Shum Yeah, no, it's the same area. Okay. Well, whatever. It looks cool. Like it, looks it has dope. the ballistas. It's it has got the ballistas. Cannon. It's got cannons. Yeah. It's got the Dragonate Tour. Yeah. It's looking dope. It is. They also had a whole bunch of stuff in the Dev Diary. They're releasing new skills for the Clutch Claw. They're uh, having a bunch of special event quests that will take place in that one arena where you fought Valkana with the cannon. Oh, wow. They're using that again. Yeah, they're going to use that oh, okay. again. Okay. okay. And they're going to have a whole bunch of monsters in there. So you can fight like all the Elder Dragons and stuff. Uh, it's a very big final update. And I am ready for the new Monster Hunter. Yeah, there's a lot of like smaller tweaks they've added to like certain gems you can now just make. Yeah, like the guard up and stuff like that. And new uh, decorations. Or sorry, charms. Yeah. Charms. Um, yeah, they, will, they have a lot of different things they've added. All the high rank armor or the master rank armor is now going to be available to layer, layer. Which finally, that's like all I wanted. Yeah, I just want to make the Adogaron beta so I can have the cooled hat. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. That's a cool set. Yeah, and so that's, that's going to be the final update. They're going to have a whole bunch of uh, events leading up to it. I yeah. think right now it's the, what is it, like the Chinese festival pretty much? Yeah, the Lunar New Year. And then after that it's the space the, one yeah so that was the first anniversary anniversary of it no yeah. no second anniversary i don't remember because the first anniversary you got the gala suit yes yes and the second one you got space yeah that's a good video game hmm. i've almost put like 500 hours into that game damn i only i know i'm above 300 but i'm definitely not at five i'm like 440 or something whoa that's a good video game that's pretty good i like it me and TJ just got to Hunter Rank 200. Whoa. Or TJ's been at Hunter Rank 200, or Master Rank 200 for a while. But then we did the final quest together. The... Did you beat it? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's real. You don't get anything for it. No? You just gotta talk to everybody. The fuck? It's one of those quests where it's like everybody has an exclamation mark above their head, and then you gotta go talk to everybody, and it's like, fuck. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know reminiscing about monster hunter that's a good game it's gonna be sad when it's over because like this is it like, yeah after halloween it's like like they're gonna have actually well after this they're going to have a halloween event oh yeah it could be new content vampire and stuff yeah so the guys are vampire and the girls are like the succubus devil girl. yeah yeah um and they said that they will continue on with with the regular events i just don't know if they're gonna be new new like they'll just put the, the rotation on like yeah. MMO. yeah yeah that's fair i wonder too if like because last year's Halloween event was the Resident Evil. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if they'll ever do like paid monsters. I don't think for not now. I think it's just gonna be Monster Hunter Universe, and then they're gonna go for it. Yeah, like I... they're gonna bring back the Valstrax. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was my favorite. Fucking Jet Dragon. All white sharpness. Jet Dragon, and then he just like. What yeah, the... he flies into space and then he careens into fucking. Uh, remember when Surfer cast Meteor? Watch me do it too. And then, uh, yeah. That was a good monster. It's a very good monster. Was his the one where like his weapons were all jet powered? Or was it just the sword and the hammer? I think it was just the sword and the hammer. Okay. But they all had insane white sharpness. Like. 70% of the bar was Wait, white sharpness. Was that because it was white and then red? Yes. <laughs> okay. I remember now. Oh, yeah. What a risk. <laughs> what a risk. <laughs> yeah. That was a good monster. Thanks, Monster Hunter. I would, yeah, I would like to see, like, those monsters. But I guess I'm more excited for the next Monster Hunter game. Because, yeah. like, after this, it's like... Do you think they'll keep the Clutch Claw? I think so, yeah. I think yeah. they... I don't think they can remove it now. I think they'll add something else. To styles. It. They're bringing back Ariel. They're bringing back Bushido style. I don't know if they're going to do styles. That was a lot. And that was also by, done by the guy who made Devil May Cry 5 combat and, system. And, so, and he doesn't work there anymore. Yeah, so. but Generations also had the thing where, like, it basically had all the handicap assists. Like the super moves? Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> you're was... like, man, you don't want to hit every part to get get all the bug colors. Just throw it into them real hard. Yeah. And get them all. Like it made that game a little too wild. Yeah, like but like it never made you good at the game. It was just like ah, I'm gonna get hit. Yeah, here. what if I'm the best? <laughs> it was like it was like oh, I'm stuck in animation. I cannot escape this. Oh wait, what was it called? Like infinite invincibility or something oh yeah the one where you like sheath your weapon and you can counter or whatever yeah, adapt or, like, or yeah or like, yeah absolute readiness oh, yeah. you would like dodge spin and you come out with your weapon sharpened yeah like, what <laughs> you don't want to immediately have 100 percent invulnerability and then sharpen your weapon at the same time yeah like it really just made you be like i don't need to play this game yeah, properly i'm good yeah i'm always good <laughs> like that's monster hunter baby Oh, that's funny. But yeah, no, I can't wait to see. Like, because obviously, it's gonna be on the next gen. Systems, yeah, it's so or on PC. Okay. Well, because Capcom already put it on PC. Okay. I think the thing is, like, I would really want a crossplay, like PC to console. Yeah, because it's not competitive, right? I, it, honestly, it just depends on how fast the PS5 loading is. Because, like, I saw Blaven play Monster Hunter on his computer. Those quests are instant. Yeah. Like, they're so fast. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, you, I mean, you're right. It could be that way. Like, who knows? But yeah, who that's the, the end of Monster Hunter World. It's that sad times. It's been a good two years. Oh, well. Yeah. Uh, continuing on video games, Pokemon Masters EX. Oh, Master Sex. Is, has a great <laughs> hashtag. Come on, Master Sex. Pokemon Master Sex, baby. <laughs> TJ heard it. He's like, oh, fuck. That's, that that was the hashtag. That's it. That's the news story. That's it. Pokemon Masters came out with a hashtag. Pokemon Masters EX. But it's Pokemon Master Sex. <laughs> yeah. And it's the best. How does, how, do, how does that get overlooked? It's the best. <laughs> I think that's one of those things where like someone probably saw it. But the guy who makes the decisions didn't see it. And the guy and the guy lower from him is like, I'm not going to say shit. Like, I'm going to let him get it. And then I'll get his position. <laughs> oh, Nintendo. What are you uh, promoting? It's fantastic. Okay. Uh, Baseball Stars 2, the classic Neo Geo game. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The 1992... <laughs> baseball video game it's wrong no no uh it's come under some controversy because it has taken all references to taiwan and taipei out of their game okay and this is coming hot hot off of the news of the call of duty trailer that was replaced worldwide because they had to take out tiananmen square footage right right and also when uh was this one i think it was the snk published they did they re-released art of fighting 2 and in one of the stages they have the japan rising sun flag in yeah. the background and yeah. they took it out and now everyone's just like why is everyone censoring asia <laughs> <laughs> it's a very uh interesting interesting thing hmm. but um i guess like that's kind of the price you pay when you deal big money with china hmm but it's kind of crazy how like something as little as being like, hey, just put in the the word Taiwan and they will not let you release something there. Because wow. like, here's the screenshot. Because they kept everything else in, right? <laughs> Hawks. So it just says Hawks. It's supposed to be Taiwan Hawks. And then the other one still has like Seoul and all the other Asian yeah. countries are still there. But they're just like, man, yeah, that one, fuck that. <laughs> not happening. <laughs> wow it's uh it's kind of nuts china has too much power oh <sighs> china sometimes china gotta be china china is china uh what else is there van Ble vlam beer is closing a uh, famed indie developer they made nuclear throne they made the phone hit ridiculous fishing they co-developed an indie game called minute i like them they were in business for 10 years i remember ridiculous fishing ridiculous fishing is very good um but yeah, it, they're closing down after 10 years. They just, they're kind of done. It's over. It's over. And then right. uh, I guess the last one is kind of like a duh is according to a, was it a Ubisoft? Ubisoft. What was it? I think it was like a Ubisoft news story. Okay. Uh, oh, it was an FAQ on their website. What are they saying? 
the PlayStation 5 will not be backwards compatible with the PlayStation 1, 2, or 3. Oh, yes, yes. Right? And it's like, fucking duh. <laughs> but people are taking this to mean, oh, they're not going to have any retro games on their console. And it's like, bitch, of course they are. They will 100% repackage games they already own to sell back to you again. Hmm. But the comments are just like, oh my god, they're they're going back on their promise for backwards compatibility. Oh my, and it's like, dude, d- like this wasn't going to happen. <laughs> what are you talking about? But I think the problem was like Sony did come out and say backwards compatible. They never specified, but they did. I say... thought they I thought they said only backwards compatible for the PS4. No, they never specified. Oh really? They just said this is backwards. Because whenever I heard whenever I heard that story, it was they will support the overwhelming majority of ps4 games and that was it i never heard just like blanket statement backwards compatibility like i think like one of their first thing bullet points was like backwards compatible like it just said backwards compatible okay okay because i think back then they didn't even know what that meant but (laughs) we forgot we had four consoles before this shit (laughs) put it on the box it's a bullet point (laughs) yeah and then as we've gotten closer to release it's been like well actually 95% 95% of PS4 games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a couple that are just like, I, I don't want to figure it out. I don't, I don't feel like it. Yeah. So, yeah. as long Listen, as long as I can play Gal Gun 2 on my PS5. Wow. Like, as long as I can shoot girls. <laughs> you want to finish that sentence? No. <laughs> as long as I can shoot girls in their erogenous zones. Oh, my God. To make them orgasm. Oh, my God. I'm good. I can't believe that video game fucking exists. Oh my god. And they made three of them, no doubt. You're disgusting. I own all three of them. You disgust me. They detest. Whatever, at least I don't own that special edition that came with a disc cleaner. Oh, disc cleaner. Which was actually a pair of blue and white striped panties. Get that shit to Victoria's Secret. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Make my own special edition. (laughs) Well, I'm at. I'll get garters. <laughs> get a whole outfit. I get a whole outfit for this shit. <laughs> Don't judge me while I crossplay. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what's gonna happen. Yeah, so it's just like fucking duh, my dudes. Yeah, but that's a uh, that's it for my picks. Okay, I had a lot. I only have one. Go. It's a bombshell. Yo, September first, Nvidia. They gone done do it. They, they announced and showed off all them new next-gen gaming cards. Oh, the 3000 series. The 3000 series is here. They're coming, I think, September 17th as the first ones. But uh, I got to talk about this because uh, the value proposition. The value proposition here is interesting. Okay. So what's the current big boy card that they have? The 280 Ti? The 280 Ti. What's that cost? Like a billion dollars. Like 1200 bucks. Yeah. 1299 Yeah. So NVIDIA announced three of their new cards. Their entry, the mid, and then the top tier. Yeah. I only want to talk about the entry one. Okay. Entry one comes in at four ninety nine. Yeah. Claimed to be more powerful than the outgoing twenty eighty Ti. What the fuck? Like like not a lot more powerful, like it's it's marginal. But still, it's like half the price. It's half the price. It does marginally more power at a lower wattage. Yeah. And uh so it's four ninety nine. Mm-hmm. And that's just and like the other cards are great too. It's like this the mid range card is six ninety nine. It does double, yeah, almost double. And then the last one's fourteen hundred bucks, and it does like out of this world power. Mm-hmm. But that 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 entry level card is the one that caught my eye because it's like holy shit. Between that and AMD's Ryzen, it's like suddenly the idea of building a PC becomes even more tempting. So dense problem, <laughs> problem. Okay, here's my problem. What's your problem? The only like one, I'm like I, I can't figure out why they're so cheap. I don't. I just don't understand. Because they were holding back, baby. I know, but like I, I just don't get it. Okay. Uh, but it's interesting that um, they're putting these cards out just before the launch of the new console generation. Why is that interesting? Of course they're gonna do that. I'm just, I'm just, you know, it's just like, are you really gonna try and sway me away? I, I don't think it's gonna happen. That's what they're going to try and do. I know, but I just don't think it's going to happen. You yourself said, man, AMD and NVIDIA with but, a cheap card. But I'm just saying, like, if this were any other year, yeah, I would have a PC. Interesting. But because there's a PlayStation on the horizon, 
So you think it would have been better for them to announce this like next year or well, a year or a year earlier? I don't know. Like at the end of the day, like I I hope they do get some people to sway. Yeah. But also there's just the market is just so like everyone just wants ease of use. Right? Like people just want a plug and play box mm-hmm. that does everything. And that's what the whole point of a con- video game console is. But once you have your PC built, then it's plug and play. But I got to do that. <laughs> And I think that's the problem. I have no doubt in my mind I can do it. Yeah. Do I want to do it? You built that. You built that uh, fucking Tie Fighter. You built that Lego Millennium Falcon. You can build a computer. I know. I built a PC before, but it's like, do I want to do it again? It couldn't be any worse than how The Verge did it. <laughs> oh, what did they do? <laughs> have you not seen that? No. Oh, I'm gonna show you a video later. Oh, okay. baby. All right. It's not that hard. Oh. Like the hardest part is the thermal paste. You would think so. Well, actually, the hardest part is just calibrating it when you have it all set up. But like, again, you would think so. But like, in terms of like, dude, fitting what the Lego I, piece together, listen, would this sway you? Would this sway your decision? <clears throat> Most coolers have thermal paste already applied. Okay, but what if? <laughs> but what if? What if with all this money I'm saving, I'm like, yo, but what if water cooling though? Let me tell you about. No, a, don't tell me how easy it is. <laughs> all in one water cooler, <gasps> which is what I have. Oh shit! It's a radiator already hooked up to hoses with liquid already inside. But I, but I'm hearing with that... thermal paste already <laughs> applied. <laughs> but what I'm hearing is that you got to be very delicate when you put in the in, in the chip into the board. It's like the one. <laughs> it's like the one thing. It's like yeah, don't put the chip in the wrong way, please. Thank you. <laughs> like, what if I just don't follow the arrows? Like, what if I don't line them up? <laughs> That I don't think you're fit to, like, own technology in general. <laughs> it's never it's never been easier to build your own PC. Yeah, I kind of want to do it. But... Dude, I'm there. I'm, listen, I'll help you build it. Because, like, go. like and, and the reality is, like, while I'm waiting for Apple to see what happens with their transition from Intel to Silicon or yeah. ARM, whatever. Yeah. There's, that's going to be, like, a two-year transition time. I'm like, mm-hmm. should I have a PC instead? For two years as my main like i think now if you spend a decent enough an amount of money on a pc you could have it for like five to seven years yeah i know like and like ideally like i'd probably spend like like how long did from... i get my pc i don't know three years ago three four and yeah. i got like i spent i think i spent like 24 on it yeah i'm not spending that much but like it still like runs everything yeah yeah like i probably spend more closer to like 15 at the at the top which is, I guess... Not bad. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Depends what I want to do. I, I haven't figured it out yet. But anyways, those new NVIDIA cards look pretty cool. They look pretty darn swanky. Kind of want one. If I can... If I can buy one. That's the real problem. Oh, true. All the Bitcoin miners. That's the real problem. And first of all, and oh, also the uh, the one that I'm talking about, the 499 entry-level one. Uh, that doesn't actually get released till a month after the top tier ones. True. So true. Uh, that's something to take into consideration. Okay. But yeah, cool graphics cards. It's not often we talk about graphics on this podcast. Yeah, we're more about the experience <laughs> of the game, bro. But baby, we're all about the power today. Yeah. More now power, we're, baby. Now I'm all about that superficial superficiality. <laughs> yeah, man, more power, baby. And them hurts purrs. Hurts purrs. Mm. Horsepower? Hot spurs? Hot, hot spurs? You got ankle spurs? Mm-hmm. Heel spurs? Give me that thermal throttling. I have a surprise for you. No! We just, hot off the presses, have a question to chew on. Oh, shit. Okay. Paul Chu writes in! What did he write? He writes in, if you could invent a pill to make your farts smell like anything you wanted. Holy shit. Any scent. What scent would you choose? Second. Actually, let's let's do that one first. What scent would I choose? Yeah, what scent would you choose? Like what would you like want your farts to smell like? Anything. Yeah, anything. Anything you wanted. Anything. Absolutely anything. Would you get that new car smell? No. <laughs> I'd get that smell that attracts women. Pheromones? Yes. That's, that's just sweat, dog. That's the one, baby. That's just sweat. Yeah, but imagine it comes out all at once. <laughs> disgusting <laughs> oh gross <laughs> i don't know what i get what's like a, what's like a smell 
What's a smell I like? Gasoline. I love the smell of gasoline. Like, the smell of a gas station. Like, I love that shit. Yes. But I don't think it'd be attractive to other people. Wait, wait, wait. The whole point is to attract people? The whole point is to use the smell to my advantage. Oh, then, yeah, I, I pick pheromones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just straight up sex smell. <laughs> yeah. Like... <laughs> Be like, here we go. Yeah, I want my farts <laughs> to smell like hot, sweaty, Cause, cause you banging. Because you know why? Because that means you could just do it with no shame while you're having sex. Fair enough. Right? Fair enough. Well, there are. I think there would be a couple instances where you wouldn't want to. But... Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> now I would just do it. Nah. I don't, I don't know, man. I think maybe like a Cinnabon. Like a Cinnabon? What the? Yeah. <laughs> Like, you want the smell of fresh baked bread? Yeah. <laughs> like, it just came out? Yeah, like, just out of the oven, baby. Damn, nice and warm. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you grossed yourself out with that one. You grossed yourself out with that one. <laughs> Gross. Okay. So, there you go. Pheromones and uh, Cinnabons. Yeah. What's the second part? The second part is, uh, second, if people had the option to pay so their farts wouldn't smell, what do you think they pay for your pill for the ability to smart in public? Or would most people not want to pay for something that is quote unquote natural? People will pay a good amount. I'm going to say people pay for Listerine. People pay a good amount. People pay like at, at a certain point, like all you really need is toothpaste. But people were convinced that they had halitosis for some reason and Listerine cornered the market on mouthwash. Well, wow. So I think with cor correct marketing, that's what my farts would smell like. Genius marketing. <laughs> Every time I farted, I had a genius marketing idea. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Is that a smell? Can I smell? Uh, can I smell that? You cannot smell an idea. Can I can I oh, I can smell it. No, you smell cannot. of genius. <laughs> no, no, you can't. Damn. Um. Yeah. Okay. So cool. So, will people pay? Would people pay? I think people would pay for a pill. I think if your farts were rank enough, I think there would be at least like a tiny market. Hell yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I think women would do it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of going to hide their farts, they could just fart and literally smell like roses. Mm. They women really do fart yeah. roses. Yeah. They could literally fart roses. Wow. That's... Quickly write that down. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> do you know biology? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that would definitely have a market. Yeah, for sure. I like this hypothetical fart question. Uh, mm, but how much would they pay? How much would they pay? I think it'd have to be like um like it'd have to be a temporary thing. Like sure. obviously we would have the ability to like the permanent pill, like you take one and it changes your genome. Wow. Like surgery. Yeah. But surgery we, we want to make money off this in the long term, right? Yeah. So the pill only lasts like twelve hours. Okay. Okay. Alright. Right. And so you you buy like a blister pack, kinda like a birth control. Sure. Ooh, yeah. And so you can get like different flavors. Okay. Right. You can get cinnamon. You can get a new car. You can get cinnamon okay. bun. You can okay. get pheromones. Okay. But that's at the 18 plus store. You can only get it there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. It's at the love shop. Damn. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can do. I, I think it have to be temporary. And I, I think you got to charge. Like a pack of gum? I don't know about a pack of gum. This seems like this is some pretty body altering <laughs> technology. I, I, I would put it in the same category as a pack of condoms. It seems like a good price. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more expensive. Maybe like Maybe. a twenty. Maybe yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. And you get like a, you get like a pack to last you the week. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think that's fair. Yeah. You take it before a date. Yeah. You consider how many how much money people pay for fucking coffee yeah. every morning. Hell yeah. I think you know a pack of fart pills. Pretty reasonable. And imagine when you're having your BM after your morning coffee. <laughs> Jesus. And it smelled like freshly break bread. Hmm. That'd be so weird though. What if, oh, we could tie it in with Starbucks. Oh my God. Right? So they could firsthand know the effects immediately. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. We could release a powder version that you could put into your coffee so that when they do have a BM. A powder version or a shot? You know, oh, like, it could be like a pump? Yeah. You'll give me one pump of a <laughs> fart spray? Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> When COVID's over and this all goes back to normal, don't be surprised if you see our fart pump. Yeah, if we end the podcast and <laughs> yeah. we're just fucking millionaires. Yeah. Ah, that'd be life. And we have Cayman Island accounts. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, yeah. Well, thank you, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Cool. Let's talk about our weeks. Dude, I did absolutely nothing new. Whoa. 
I played Need for Speed Heat more. Mm. I, I I beat one of the main stories. Okay. The game's fucking awesome. Mm. That's a great video game. Okay. I just got into the high end supercar section of the video game because I was like, man, this GTR is not cutting it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and so I bought a Ford GT. Mm. Pimp that shit out. Mm. I'm going like 360k. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't think that car's supposed to go that fast. I don't think so either. <laughs> I don't think so either. But I'm like working my way up. I want to buy that Pagani. Mm-hmm. I gotta buy that uh, Koenigsegg. Mm-hmm. It's I'm almost there. I'm almost at the end, baby. You know. You know what I did to my Ford GT? Mm-hmm. I had to do a bunch of off road events. What the fuck? So I put off road tires. I put a uh, rally differential. Put rally suspension on that bitch. The f. And I raced my Ford GT. In rally races. I don't like the sound of that. It's a good video game. <laughs> that sounds... No. <laughs> no. Why not? I don't like Okay, h- how about this? Would you rather me use my old off-road vehicle, which was an Aston Martin DB11? No. <laughs> with a wide body kit. No. And it was metallic purple. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> It's such a dumb game. I love it. Um, but I don't know if I mentioned this before, but because uh, I mentioned that night they have, that's like when the, when the cops come out. It's when the heat comes out, baby. Yeah. They have heat specific races. So like as you're driving around, you gain heat level. And the more yes. heat level you have up to five, the more shit tries <clears throat> to stop you. Uh, but there are night events that can only be started if you're at a certain heat level. Oh. And then if you beat those events you get a uh what is it like a a, it's basically a hot part you get an illegal part for your car so if you want the best parts in the game you got to be beating like the heat five races i see and stuff like that it's pretty fun just racing against the cops and doing all that stuff like going over jumps i have realized though that if there is any jump that is a gap over water the police will automatically crash nice so i have found this one bridge (laughs) in the in the bottom corner of the map and i take the the alternate route where it's got two jumps over water yeah and i just lose all cops oh wow (laughs) it's great that's cheap it's very cheap but yeah i'm just cruising around on my 4gt crushing fools and race cars man nice it's good and then uh yeah i've been we mentioned it before school starting so i've been prepping for school I've been uh, trying to find all these e-books. Nerd. I know. Did you... Oh, man, you want to get this. There are certain book companies now that they don't even sell an e-book. You know what they sell? No. They sell a rental to an e-book. What? Yeah. So you can rent the e-book for six months. Like the digital license? Yeah. Whoa. You get a six months digital license, and it still costs like $100. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. It's a fucking racket. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. So I'm uh, I'm trying to find uh, other means to get these textbooks. Oh yeah, that part of school sucked. Yeah. Luckily, there's a couple classes so far that like they they're um, these textbooks aren't required but are highly recommended ah. type of classes and I'm like okay not required <laughs> <laughs> no problem. See ya. Yeah, but other than that, it's just I've been making bad decisions and playing League with Blavin. Oh my god, still? Yeah. Still? Yo, he came to a revelation the other day. What? He was like, Anthony, League of Legends is not fun. And I'm like, yeah, I know. (laughs) So uh, what made you come to this revelation? And he's like, no matter how badly I win my lane. Yes. If everyone else feeds their ass off, there's literally nothing I can do. As a, as a single player in a team-based game. Whoa. And I'm like, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. There, there's literally nothing you can do, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> Sad. It's, uh, it's very funny. Sad. It's very funny. And then, uh, yeah, we play, we play that Monster Hunter event. Beat Arc Tempered in a melee. Mm. Yeah, man. It's just been, been kind of putting old shit on facebook marketplace to try and sell stuff and playing games i played last week i didn't really do much new okay yeah cool um 
I'm trying to think. I don't know if I, you know, I don't, I didn't play anything new. I watched a movie. You played Kingdom Hearts 8? No. Damn. No. No. No, no. Was that this year? Last year. It was this year. Kingdom Hearts 3? When was this year? In January. Last year. Was it? Uh, you guys think it came out this year. Uh, oh, what? Oh, January last year. Holy shit. That game's old. Wow. That old? It's old. I haven't played it yet. That game's almost two years old. Damn. And I own that game. I gotta play this DLC. Uh, yeah, okay, no. I haven't played any new games. Still Formula One. Um, still mowing through Escaflone. Still watching the dailies on the anime. You finished Gundam yet? Nope. Oh my god. One day. And then, uh, yeah, so I watched the movie on Netflix. Called? Wait, it's, it's called Project Power. Okay. I think it's with Jamie Foxx, George, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Okay. And some girl. And the idea is uh, the government, or some secret black ops market, okay. have created a pill <gasps> that gives you powers. So it's like, what was that, um, what was that one where he took a pill and then he became like a super genius? Uh, I can't remember. But I think I know what you're talking about. Okay, but this is kind of like that. Only it's like it only lasts five minutes. Oh, and you can OD on powers. Ooh, that sounds fun. Like, and then like you can't choose your power. They just give you a power. Like, is no, it random every time you take it? No, no, no. Like it's based on your genetic makeup. Oh, okay. Like there's something they don't really explain it. They're just like, yeah, some of these powers are like derived from like different animals, but like the way it works with your specific human genome mm-hmm. will activate certain ones. Huh. Uh, so like one guy just like he bursts into a, a ball of fire for his power. That's cool. But he took like a couple way too many pills and he just exploded. That's cool too, <laughs> right? So, is it like you can OD if you take too many at once, or is it just like if I take one and I wait a month and I take another, then it's a problem? They haven't figured that out yet. Okay, it could be either or. Okay. So, yeah, that's what the movie's about. Um, there's a it's, it's kind of like a. Jamie Foxx is basically at, at the center of all this and he's trying to find his daughter because his daughter has a special power. That she can always be powered? Yes. I knew it. Yes. Okay. And Joseph, Go- Joseph Gordon-Levitt is a cop in the city who's taken powers illegally and put a force in his hand. I don't know. Some shit like Damn that. Joseph Gordon-Levitt constantly doing illegal things. What I'll say is that it's definitely a direct-to-video movie. Oh, okay. Like, it's not a big Hollywood blockbuster film. That's fair. It's okay. It was fun to watch. Like, it's it's got some good moments and mm-hmm. fun stuff. It's mm-hmm. just, you know, it's like you want a, a Friday evening of action. Here you go. Mm-hmm. It's all right. Okay. It's not going to blow your socks off. You'll be like, whoa, that was cool. You know what does blow your socks off, though? Mm. Rewatching Tokyo Drift, no. which is what I did. Oh, my God. <laughs> For, like, the 30th time. Oh, my God. Disgusting. Uh, Yeah, so I did that. <clears throat> and then I I um did nothing else. Absolute zero. Cool. That was my week. It was uh pretty boring. Maybe this weekend I might do something different. Who knows? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I think I'll watch Mulan. I want to watch Mulan. Really? Going to support Disney Plus like that? Did I say that? <laughs> oh. Okay. I said I'm watching Mulan. Okay. All right. That's all I need to know. You're okay. gonna watch Mulan? Yes. I'm gonna watch that Mulan. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. I heard apparently the new DC movie is like crazy bleak. What? There's like a new Dark Side movie out. There is. Yeah. Like animated? Yeah. Like a new animated movie. Oh, I don't know. I didn't hear about this. Okay, film. I thought you would have heard something about it. No. Okay. Never mind. I had not. Never mind. If no, nothing. Yeah, Dark Justice League Dark Apocalypse. Apocalypse War. Sorry. Yeah, no. Apparently it's super bleak and gory. Sounds hot. Cool. All right. well, I, thought, I, guess... I thought maybe you would have heard something about it. No, I Never mind. I have not. Never mind. Uh, was there anything else we need to talk about before we sign off? Uh, you know, I'll just say it because I'm gonna I'm gonna try and hold myself to it. Oh no. Which is uh, I'm gonna try and do waifu wars next week. Oh no. So if you have waifus to put into the war. Please send them in to tniab.letters at gmail.com. Wow. Uh, this is your last chance for waifus. Uh, you could also send it to Twitter at tniab. 
or you can send it to our Facebook page, Three Nerds in a Basement. Whoa, crazy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get that Excel mm. sheet ready. I'm gonna throw them into a tournament bracket. It's happening. And we're gonna be biased as fuck choosing waifus. Hell yeah. I like the sound of it. Last chance, baby. Ooh. Scary shit. <laughs> okay, thanks for listening, everybody. See ya.